We are live. We are live. That is us. We've managed to do this on many different streams, so this we're could, hoping that it's all working. This all could be quite interesting. Let's just check that everything is up and running. We've got something exciting to show you guys tonight. Well, we think it's exciting anyway. Well, it's exciting for us. So, there we are. There we are. We are about. Look at that. Yes. There's some people on Instagram. Yep, comment if you're on Instagram. You're on that camera there. Yeah. And comment on YouTube and you're on that, that one. Hammer there. And, and if you're on Facebook, you're right. there. Yeah. That is quite possibly the greatest thing I've ever. You want to mute this whole computer down here, don't you? Done. I think we're nearly there. If you have any questions to ask us, ask away in the in the comments. It's like Christmas. It's you start poking. I know it's very exciting, shaking. isn't it? Doesn't. Doesn't smell. Doesn't smell yeah, what does it smell of? What does it sound like? Where's um? How many buttons are you pressing? A lot, but I'm pressing a lot of buttons, but I don't seem to be finding your normal stream of um Facebook. That's what I'm trying to look for. Oh, no. Ah, that's why. Should be right at the top. There we are, right at the top. Should we? Should we watch that one? We should need watch to these two watch that and see if there's any comments. There's one comment oh, in there already. Someone, Jane. Oh. Thanks. Hi, Hi. Jane. Someone's on Claire's Instagram. Mom. That's Claire's mum. Excellent. Good. Hi, Claire's mum. Right. Should we do it? Yeah. What's so, it? So, in here, we have had a little bit of a sneak peek. Yeah, we do have to have a sneak preview. So, we've got a box that, when we unwrapped it, all the outside came off. Yes, it, it did look a lot nicer at one point. So at, at this point, not that impressive. Still don't know what it is. At, at and, this stage. and at this stage, it's still not <laughs> that impressive. No. However. However, if, when you turn it round, yes, it's got a picture of a camera on the front. Mm. This camera says 4K. Well, it does say 4K on it. And it does. It does. It does do an awful lot more than just. It does. Re recording 4K. So. Here's one we prepared over. This is like Blue Peter. Well, it's a bit like Blue Peter. So, so this is the camera. Yeah. Panasonic 4K. And um, yes, we are very excited about what we can do with, with this, this going kit. forward. So course vlogs, which is what everybody obviously yep. asked for going forwards. This thing makes course vlogging an awful oh, lot more <laughs> straightforward. So yeah. One of the best things in that box there is that we've got three spare batteries and batteries are like gold dust aren't they yes you just cannot have enough batteries um definitely and not three batteries will get us around 18 holes without any problems at all so it means that we can get full 18 hole vlog done obviously we've got the mic on top here which we've been using for a little while we've also got a mic on top of one of these phones mm. as well it also means that we can use our phones and utilize other devices alongside this because it has a multi-camera option on it yeah um the so zooms oh, the zooms ridiculous in terms so of we should be able to follow ball flights see them land on yes. greens actually go in and out pretty quickly rather than the painstaking zoom yeah. that we've been having up until now yes um but it's one of those things we've sort of decided to to go with that mm -hmm. in terms of what we can do we can still do the normal videos using that as well which just improve the quality of the picture it just improves the quality of the picture for you guys watching but also both of our phones now record in 4k so when yep. you put the phone footage in yes alongside the camera footage at some point it jumps back and forth and looks a bit strange yes so it's just trying to make it a bit this more uniformed yes. all the way through as we can yep we've also behind the scenes been learning some new editing software hopefully you will have seen mm. our new time titles that we've created as well Great. but um that's <laughs> definitely something that is going to improve things going forward so i found out a way just today mm -hmm. i haven't actually told you this to do uh pro tracer yeah on the cat on the editing software so if you've seen the apps that you can get that kind of guess where they go and yeah yeah they they're okay but they're not great and they could be better and you'll notice all the ones that we tend to do they tend to have the watermark of yes. of whatever app it is in the yeah. bottom right corner, which um, obviously isn't ideal. Isn't ideal, and they often sort of have a bit Unless of Unless they're paying us, of course, and then that's Then they can, do, they can have as many watermarks as they want. So, again, that's going to be something that, going forward, will make things a lot better, a lot cleaner on the videos. Um, and with the Pro Tracer element, you can put overlay Google Maps onto it as well and put balls onto there. 
Um, so yes, really excited about what this camera can do for us and do for this content we're going to get to you guys. Mm. Uh, obviously, like we said, we did the video, we asked you guys for your feedback and you all wanted to see more course vlogs. There's we've a few questions on Instagram, do you want to poke, poke through these. there and see what's... We've got Facebook and we've got um, YouTube comments on here, um, but we haven't got any Instagram because you can only be on the mobile. Ben Swanton, all yeah. about 4K boys. It is, Ben, yes, you're right. Um, your mate Barney's on. Barney's about, is he? Excellent. Yeah. Perfect for our course vlog. Yes, Barney. Yes, the challenge is still on whenever you're ready. Yeah, we'll... I'm already practicing, Barney. You're practicing it's, hard it's, at the moment. Bit, you? There is fighting talk about. <laughs> there is a lot of fighting talk about. Oops, I've just. Oh, I'm, you're right. I'm, yeah, it's, it's Adam's Mac. It's not got a button on it, and I just keep pressing things. James Hewitt. Yes. How are we, Trevor? Hi, James. Right. So yes, you got any questions at all, we're gonna be live for another sort of 15 minutes or so, answering any questions that you might have, golf related or non-golf related. Yeah. Get involved. So yes, really excited about what this camera can do. Show them what else came in the box that we are particularly excited about. Yeah. And right. it, it might mean that part three of a certain popular feature could be even better in the, part, in the future. Well, then, don't know what that is. Yeah, there's a lot of things that- you probably don't... won't need that. It's unlikely we'll use that. We, we definitely, definitely use that. that. <laughs> yeah, we will be using that one. I've got a sneaky feeling that that is part that. of the charger. That, that is that. Are you ready for this? This battery, battery, and yeah, battery and battery, battery and battery. And battery. Chargers. And Are you ready? Wowza! <laughs> now now that, that is a light. That is a light, and and you can tell yeah. it. <laughs> Could have the serious <laughs> shiniest head ever. <laughs> well, I could have a really good tan in the middle of winter. I opened this, ready? Whoa, that takes a lot of batteries. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six double A batteries. No, if only and it we lights had, up a football pitch. If only we had six double A batteries to show you how bright this is. Does it have a plug? There's a DC, a DC in. No, no idea. DC nine volt are in? No, no, what's that? Like there. This no, one. The USB one. And this one? Ooh, yeah. And this one? Oh, yeah, we could. Um, We've got so much stuff, no, we don't actually know no, what it is. I think we need a knife with that. See, I've what? got one of them. I was surprised with is this. This is obviously as, as yeah. good as we can get. Yeah. It is so light. Mm, it is very, very light, isn't it? I think it's because we've been. with The, the actual cameras are quite. They're normally quite big, yeah, aren't they? DSLRs are quite big, your, yeah. Your camera's brilliant, mm. but it's, it's big, big, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's obviously a stills camera, especially. Yes. So this is just ridiculous. Yeah, definitely. You can actually put it on a monopod and put it in your golf bag and not actually notice you've got it. No, no, although we do need to remember that we have got it. Yeah. Because I got a box back from DJI today. And oh, yeah. my gimbal <laughs> was in my golf bag and then it fell on the floor and broke. So that's gone back to Germany to be Oops. fixed and hopefully won't be happening again. Yeah, we don't want to break that anytime soon. Do you always keep camera tech? We got it actually got it second hand. Um just because well, so I say second hand, it doesn't actually look like it's been used in the slightest. There are no marks on the screen. Another thing for us um going forwards is the ability to Yeah, do actually that. see what we're doing. Because I either cut his head off yeah. when I hold it. Or he cuts my head off. Yeah, and if you're doing vlogs, you're going to be able to see. That's pretty good, look. What, what you can see. His head off. <laughs> and it's, it's a good start. And the zoom is just mental. So. Mm. There you go. This I could get good. We're just going to want to play more golf, though. Well, this that's a good that, Well, that's not an issue because. Well, it's that not is an issue, but it is. It's a good thing. Because, isn't it? like, you know, some of us. Well, we, we do need to go to work, otherwise, neither of us tend to get any money. Yeah, we, yes, exactly. We do still need to. To earn some money, but there we go. We're coming into the winter. There'll be a bit of time to to get out. There's a light. There is a light on the top of this here. I'm going to see if I can turn it on. Don't worry. This isn't going to be the most riveting entertainment for you guys at this stage. But it looks like. See that? There is a light. Well, there's a light. We're getting on to other topics. Mm. Who's staying up for the cricket this evening? Yes. No, I'm not. But maybe we'll see. You I'll probably, have to be I'll up. be up. I'll, uh, I'll definitely At be up some one stage, song. You, you will be up. Well, I only managed two, two, bo two feeds during the night last night. Yeah. So that's definitely progress. 
if, if you don't know, we've got a seven week old baby in the house and um, he's wow. a hungry one. <laughs> he is a hungry one, that is for sure. So, no, I what's don't going know. on there on the old Instar? You, you don't know that joys of that yet, do you? No. Looking forward to seeing this new kit. Smiles, how are you? Still playing well. Right here, more good scores in the old midweek queue right, today. Have a look at them. We will redo the new market vlog. Thing. Yeah. However, you're gonna have to take it a little bit easy on the this time around. Not that up for the ashes. Seems a little under radar. Yeah, they were definitely trying to hype it up today, weren't they? Joe yeah. Root saying, "Oh, we can't wait to get out of there." Yeah. It's an interesting one with the ashes, isn't it? Because do you want to know why it's underrated? Because it's not on Sky. It's BT now, isn't BT it? BT Sport. I yeah, Sky like, would have pumped it, wouldn't they? I'd just like to say thank you to David Ball's dad at this point. Right. Because I actually have his login for his BT oh, Sport. Oh, so you can watch it. So I can watch his... But Thanks, Dave Ball's dad. <sighs> When's the first test? Tonight. It is tonight, is it? I yeah. thought it was a like, Midnight. warm-up or something. Midnight tonight, we are go time. Oh, well. But it is a little bit under the radar. It's over there, though, isn't it? Do you think it's, it's under the radar because um, we're not such either under you know such underdogs anymore but i think if if you get used to watching sky it sky. You, they would have been building it up i mean probably have been building it up on bt have not they but we just haven't but, seen it yeah. we don't have it so i don't know it always it always sneaks up on you a little bit when it's down under there isn't it yeah well always, to, to something me, good to watch over christmas to me it's always december you know you get the christmas you get the boxing day test mm. but to start sort of I suppose it isn't really mid. No, it's time's just goes mid. Time's just gone for me. The last it's, month is just it's good mid. though, because it needs to get to February as quick as possible. Yes, it does. It does. <laughs> Warm that weather up again. I'm like properly looking forward to a holiday. <laughs> yes, I've got to wait till May for my holiday. But there we go. So, any more questions? Anything on the old Facebook questions? I don't know where you've put it. Don't know where I've put it. No. Mm. I've hidden it somewhere. Mm. It won't be there. It won't be there. I've no idea. Click onto that. Try that. Oh, oh there, we, there go. we are. There's some comments down there. You'll be up for a feed, Simon. Yeah. Jeremy. I'll be up feeding. RSPCA. Poor hamster. Oh, I see. I think this is reference to the to the mole on top of this. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a, a family. Hamster, we've got a what family. have we done? Yeah, what have we done? Yeah, what have we done? There's another. There's a smaller hamster over here somewhere, isn't there? There, there uh, yes, on top of. Yeah. Many hamster. Yeah. He's about. He's about. We won't. Yeah, it only takes a few sly comments of our sound, and we try and sort it out as best as possible. Yeah. So we've got two road mics now. Yeah. A four K camera. Yeah. Two four K phones. Yeah. A floodlight. Yeah. Urban Golf 3, it is on. Three or four tripods and a bread bin. If, yeah, a bread bin. <laughs> we are using the bread bin again. Um, <laughs> if you want to be, if you want to make up a four ball for Urban Golf yeah. 3, then comment, comment below. below. Comment below know. on any any yeah. social media platform. And we'll be on and it. And we'll be on it. Yeah, we could, we'll could. definitely do it in a four ball next time. You have to bring your own clubs there. <laughs> and I you, want the sacred. No, you can use our clubs. It's fine. We do. We still. Or your, your own tennis ball. You have to bring. You have to decorate. Your <laughs> tennis ball, that's for sure. So yes, it is very exciting. All of this, and I don't want to tempt fate, but there is three streams still running. People um, are watching on three different platforms, yeah, and is, we haven't messed it up yet. And we, no, nothing's gone. I've messed this up a bit just because yeah. I keep clicking buttons and don't really know what I'm doing. On that, I but said I'd lend you the fusion. Yes, you did. You did send you. You say you lend me the. Yes, Jeremy's saying he'd lend us the GoPro Fusion when he gets it. Ah. So we'll definitely be up for some go. of that. We'll do some three sixty videos to get you all disorientated. Yeah, get you. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? Yes. No, oh, three sixty video mm -hmm. while swinging a golf club. Wowzer! Speed put that. Up, speed it, that up. And make everyone sick. Put it on the. <laughs> put it on the club. <laughs> yes. Oh, very good. So yes. What What do we think? Bring some of those bits over. Let's have a play with them. See what's what. That's the charger. So that's that's one. Bit oh, of we charger. see. There's different bits are for different size batteries. Do we reckon? Um, that's the same as. No. No, they're different. They're different. Got different prongs. 
That's got to be a battery. That's got to go in there, isn't it? Slider. I don't know that's wide enough. Have you got one with them? Yeah, with a wider slider. This could be our downfall, by the way. Not being able to charge the battery. Yeah. Got this camera, it just doesn't charge very well. Does it does say does it say it's for what it's for? How long until you get the fusion then, Jeremy? When is it arriving? As soon as it's released, I reckon. Is it not out there? I don't know. Not out there yet. I hadn't heard about it, to be honest. Then I'm not I'm a bit lost in it. You must be a teenager outside that can explain technology yeah. to you. Should be here next week. Beautiful. I'd be oh, interested beautiful. to see what that would be like. Let's have another two copies. I just want to see if I can actually get one of these plugged in. I ordered the case to fit the mic to my GoPro Hero 5 today. Yes. We've got, got the aluminium body coming with the shoe mount on the top. And it's got an mic. open door on the side, so the side door can come off, so that the inlet for the audio can. Go you've got the way. lead. Not, Not yet. yet. That the that's lead. the most expensive part yeah, of, of the, the whole thing. Fifty pounds for a lead. It's a lot of money, isn't and it's it? quite chunky. You'd have thought GoPro would have made it a little bit smaller. Well, we'll make this tiny little camera. Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll make this audio lead that's double the length <laughs> of the camera. Great idea. Thanks for that's that. Special. And if you have any other GoPro. It doesn't three, work. Three to four. It doesn't work. No. The the leads are on eBay for about... Oh, I see. £2.50. So we, have we got all of these and none of them charge it? It needs to have four prongs in it. Three prongs in it? Two prongs in it. Let's try that one. That one goes in. Nice. We'll use that then, shall we? Should we use that one? Let's give that a bash, shall we? Do, do, do. It's got to go that way, isn't it? It's got to go that way around. There it is. Oh. That go we'll on top of something. We probably should have done all of this off of camera. No! It's <laughs> limiting. It's limiting watching. No one's asking any golf questions, so. Who's excited about seeing Mr. Woods? Yeah, I'm quite excited about seeing Mr. Woods. I think it'll be. I can't wait. That'd be interesting, won't it? I'd just like him to play all four days without limping off somewhere. Yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? And you know he's going to hit like some outrageous shot at some point because he is not going to drive it dead straight all the time. Oh, no, 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 no. Unless TaylorMade have come up with some super duper driver. Well, they will tell you they've come up with a super duper driver. Spoiler alert, I saw some new Ping products today for release in March. Can't say anything more. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd be in the, serious trouble. You, you'll be in court next week. But, um, <laughs> that's all right, I was watching. But yes, Ping. Wait, they're waiting a little bit longer than a lot of the other manufacturers who are going getting their goodies out now, aren't they? Mm. That definitely doesn't fit on that. Right, that's helpful. So, should we try that into there? That into there works. That definitely fits on there because that came off of there. Off of there. So I reckon and these. Plug that badger in. Where's that? So that's the car charger, isn't it? Because you reckon that plugs in there, it gives that a bit of an old. How's that a car charger? It's got USB. It's got a plug in there somewhere. It's got to be a cover. There we go. Plumb that badger into that end. Stick that in there. Yeah, yeah, she's charging nicely. Whoa, get two batteries charging at the same time. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that's our that, news. I think that's about it, really. For We're going to zoom in more. Yeah. In higher quality. In higher quality. And, and um, when it comes to urban golf, oh, you're going to be able to see what we're doing. All over urban golf. Oh, watch out. What's that? 
It's only working. It's only working. Oh. So Ben, when are we starting this? When are we doing this rematch at Newmarket? I'd imagine Newmarket's in good nick at the minute. Yeah, we give one a good time to go, isn't it? Who have we got over there? Is someone over there commenting? I'm off. I'm on it. Oh. Hello. Hi, George. How are you doing? We're sort of we're kind of live in three different places, George. So we're looking at different cameras, and it's all very exciting. Because it's still working, the streams are still live. No, it's just worrying, it is, really. Well, yeah, very exciting. There's definitely a chance that we could do something more now, couldn't we? Mm. As in, we could potentially do some. Hmm, hmm, I've got some ideas. Mm. I think live product reviews would be good. Quite want to warm up before that happens. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. It's going to go left. If it isn't to a net, I'm going to hit it left. Cool, I saw some lefts tonight, if Jeremy's still there. Yeah, some lefts on the go. Did he? No, yeah, it's good though. We were, we were anti-writing, so just a bit of testing to see how far left he could hit it. And he did. And he did, nicely. Nicely. Right, right, I'm off. Where? Going to play Call of Duty. Who's there? Go for it. That's they nice. were left. Yes. But they weren't right. Yep, they were, they were good. I'll do you a swap. I'd much prefer to hit it right at the minute and hit it left. Yeah, it depends what you're... Um, yeah. My tendency is to uh, start it a little bit left and then, yeah. We've got a question. We've got a question. Who is it, George? Golf is good. Yeah, golf is good. Winter work has begun and live production reviews would be great. Yes, they would. I definitely think we can do that. Um, well, we can with this. Yeah, we can with this. So, George, if you've it. only just joined, we've got the reason for this. We've got a new camera, which we're very excited about. It records in four K, and um, it's Bit the fancy. speed of its zoom is um, well, just incredible, exactly. incredible. I saw a video when I was watching the reviews before we bought it, and it's zoom. This guy zoomed in, and obviously you can. You can see it's digitally zoomed after the optical zoom. And he zoomed in on this windmill, you know, one of those um, energy mm. windmills. And I reckon, no word of a lie, it's 10 miles away. <laughs> and all right, it's a bit shaky. And then he zooms out and it's like, oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, hang on. What? He kind of zooms o over a small town. He stood a village away. <laughs> exactly. And, it's, and then just at the end, it's like, oh, I see. Oh, that's actually another field he's gone across as well. Yeah. Uh, that'd be good. What's that say? That just says product spell, probably. Product, ah, uh, yes. There's a few hearts on the go there, thanks, yeah. guys. Cheers. Yes. So, if nothing else, the image quality mm -hmm. will be heightened. Higher. Much higher. I'm more looking forward to, I want to, see to getting my tanning light on. Yeah. It's got like a tanning light screen in front. Yeah, got a filter. One of these ones. Just sit here over Christmas, get a nice tan. So, it's going to be so bright. You're going to see us on the next people, video game. People, <laughs> when we play Urban Gold, people look at us a little bit weird anyway. When we've got this massive floodlight <laughs> pointing at them, they're probably going to be like, those two are proper strange. Oh, well, that's all right. Nothing, nothing I can deal, new there. I can deal with strange. Yeah. <laughs> I've got some great ideas for the old next Urban Gold. Have you? Mm. Okay. Brilliant. We have to do it for it because it'll be it'll be a year since all, we lost. All I'll the say is I'll be able to get permission because it's at the place I work. Oh right, okay. And and they might have just opened it. Oh bug. right. Oh crikey! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That sounds like fun. <laughs> yes, definitely get. It'll definitely be a flag to aim at. There's two fairly close. Yes. What's going on here? This old Instagram we're getting on it. You guys have to get a drone. Yes, funny you say that, George. Um, we did look at that. We have been looking. That was definitely an option. Um, we did think that this would make. This is going to make. going to be a bit more functional than a drone. A drone would be good, but it's one of those things that. Just in hard. To get, to get a drone that was good enough, was going to cost an awful lot of money. Yeah, I think this this makes all of our vid this will make all of our videos better. Whereas a drone will make 
parts of some of the videos better, yeah. as in like so the course vlogs. The and course vlogs, so you make better B roll and stuff like that. Yeah, the cinem the cinematics and the, that would be better with the drone. But um, uh, Alfie, I think future we, attraction. Yeah, I think Alfie, I think we're nearly at with three ninety subscribers, something, mm, like, something that. like that. So. Creeping. Not creeping, it's, yeah, it's creeped up. It's, it's never going to be a, a really quick thing because it takes a lot of effort to someone, for someone to subscribe. It's not literally, it's not just pressing a button, it's pressing if a button it, if, if you've was, got a Gmail account. Yeah, if it was just pressing a button, then. Yeah, yeah you don't know. You don't know. I mean, yeah. our analytics say that 80, 80 odd percent of the people that watch our videos aren't subscribed. So yeah. if we've got 400 subscribers and that's only 20% of the people that watch, then. That's pretty good. We're pretty happy. Our with watch that. time is is good. So minutes watched um, per day is yeah. is good. Yeah. We're happy with that. Mm -hmm. It obviously the more it, it the more it, it yeah, gets, it, the better the better yeah. it'll be. But yeah. So if any of you guys on any of the platforms aren't subscribed, that would be um, most yeah. helpful. Yeah. Plus it does get you into the prize draw. So go onto our channel and see about that. Yes. Yeah. It is worth winning, and it might be a long way away, but it is definitely worth winning. And there is the, different prizes along the way. The as top well. prize is, is definitely worth winning. I've, I've, I can't wait. We need to get there quickly because I actually can't wait to go. I was editing that footage this afternoon um, from the Ping Factory tour that I went on, because um, I just haven't had a chance, to, haven't got around to doing it. Um, and it's one of those things that we wanted to, to release after we'd done this mm. uh, prize draw. So. Hopefully that will come out in the next week or so, and it, it is just a fascinating tour. And if you get the, the same guy that toured around with us, <laughs> he's hilarious. He's a tiny, tiny little man. He's been, been worked at Ping. I reckon he was at Ping before Ping was created. <laughs> I'm here. What are you building? But um, again, going back to Ping, they are. And again, this may well tie in because you don't know how long these things are going to take. That. You read that comment. Um, Ping's 60 year anniversary, 2019. So they'll have loads of special stuff releasing in it. George is subscribed. Thank you very much, George. Thanks, George. He's a good lad. Yep. He's a good lad. Yeah, it's always nice. To, you know, the guys that have been following since the beginning, it's always nice to see how you go. Obviously, we follow George on um, on Instagram, and I see he's doing pretty well um, in his golf. Handicap's coming down. What are you off now, George? I'm going to guess seven. Six. Okay, probably less than that now. He's five. He's sitting at home going five. What are you on about? You boys obviously aren't paying attention. Yeah. But yeah, it's always nice to see the people that comment regularly. Mm, yeah. Um, and just give us the feedback. You know, good, bad, indifferent comments are, are and it good. Was nice. That obviously, we went to the Top Golf Pro. If you haven't mm -hmm. watched that review, watch that. Yeah. And it was nice to obviously with Rick Shields and, and Pete Finch were there. And it was nice to see how they went about their business and what mm. they did. Yeah. Um. Obviously, with them being there, it was it was one of those things for that event. They were sort of the main attraction. Yeah, they were. And um, there was a lot of lot of guys there that did a lot of um, online stuff. So it was mm -hmm. good to see how everybody went about it. Yes. Um, um, yeah, make some friendships, forge some new relationships. George's on to here people. now. George's on there. Is he? <laughs> Good boy. He's, st he's still seven. Still seven. Did I say big so? Year, big year to come. Oh, definitely. What, you 15 now? 15 or 16 is so it's good. Get, you know, get to cat one yeah. before your GCSE is always a good thing. Always very, very good. Mm. Yeah, 15. So yeah, we do pay attention. Yeah. Um, so yes, I think that is pretty much, unless anyone else has got any other questions or you want to say anything. No, I'm What's good. going on with you next week? Or today? Wednesday. Yeah, so week. yeah, okay. so I'm fighting through a two week stint at work, and yes. so my boss is on holiday, and we've got quite a small team, so um, yeah, it's me. Yes, you say you say you've got a small team of two. <laughs> so um, so yeah, like just looking after everything at work is mm -hmm. is is all right. It's yeah. one of those things that once Steve gets back, it'll be no, it'll be nice. nice to have a couple of days off. How much time have you got off when he comes back? Yeah, I've got a few days. We've got to do some Christmas shopping. Uh huh. Uh, and get vlog done. somewhere. Yes, and and then we're going to Prague. Oh for, yes. For two nights, so um, I will take the camera with me as mm. always. Yeah. And uh, you can see a bit of Prague. Hopefully, it'll be snowing. I'd like it to be snowing. This, this not necessarily here. 
Yeah, I'd like it to be snowing snow there. there. It'd be good, wouldn't it? This yeah. might get this camera might get an outing this weekend. Are we playing at the weekend? I'm working both days. What are you doing? I'm going to Southford. Oh, you're this going weekend. south. You're running, aren't you? Yeah, so I'm going to Southford on Friday. So I am definitely going to try and play on Southford on Saturday morning, nice um, like I did when I was away on my week's holiday. So I'm going to play Saturday morning. So potentially, depending who comes with me, someone may well come and hold this camera, or I'll try and do some bits on my own with it just testing out I think more than anything and then yes Sunday morning running Southwark 10k if you, if you can hit it and zoom in on it at the same time that would be impressive That's, that could be the future <laughs> vlog <laughs> I definitely would end up with something going wrong or the camera going yeah, on the floor you haven't got you haven't got good um, memories of, of that golf course no Southwark's where I broke my gimbal <laughs> wasn't it so yes but um, yeah running Southwark 10k as you can see I'm fighting fit yeah George Stanley's also into his running at the minute. Good boy. What so, sort of things are you doing? What sort of distances are you doing? Are you doing it in the gym? Are you doing it on the roads? I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've, you've done more running in the last couple of weeks than I have. I'm go. still finding it hard work. I find it a lot easier in the gym. Do you? I can, I can run on a treadmill. I wouldn't say it's stress-free, but it obviously it takes mm -hmm. a lot out of your legs for you. Yeah, Whereas yeah. when I run outside... It's tough, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a lot, lot tougher. You obviously got wind resistance, you've got slope, and you've actually got to propel yourself forwards, whereas on a treadmill you just have to lift your Bounce, leg, don't yeah. you? <laughs> just lift your leg in the air and it yeah. will, the road will move for you. He's doing a bit of fartlek training. Ah, yeah, yeah it's a bit of interval stuff is tough. good. Fartlek is great because hopefully you're doing it in a proper random way where you literally yeah. just go, right, I'm going to sprint to that lamppost, or I'm going to sprint to that... Um, crossroads or whatever it is yeah. and you literally don't like don't just sort of do two minutes one minute two minute one minute sort of standard interval fart like it's proper like blow Brand your brain off, blow your yeah. brain blow your muscles to like what well, what's going on here but yeah, yeah interval training very 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 good very find, good. find it a bit hard with the old we were talking about uh, regulating my temperature whilst running yes put a lot to put far too many clothes on mm. the other the other night and then came home looking like the curtain behind me yeah my rule thinking Yes, it's not good. My rule is if you if you go out running, be as cold as possible before you start, yeah. and and then you'll see more. Up. We obviously both didn't get in the ballot of the London Marathon, what a shame. unfortunately. Um, but they send you a jacket or a top. A running top, yeah. Yeah, so winter training. Th this this year's top, I put it on the other night with a t-shirt underneath it, and yeah, baked yes. the entire Seriously trip. Seriously hot, isn't it? Yeah. Seriously yeah, baked the entire way around. Any comments? No one on there. No one there. Some peeps watching though. Hi, peoples. Yes. All good, is this? Yeah. That's nice. Nice. I'm pleased that it's all kind of... I know I repeat, fear of repeating myself, but actually the technology is kind of working. It's good. Hurt the wrists and left the rain session this week. But mm -hmm. I'll school Friday so can practice then. Hi, yeah. Radon. How are you doing? What's the weather like in Ireland at the moment? Whereabouts in Ireland are you? Most importantly, mm -hmm. do love, do love Ireland. Some good golf in Ireland. We do need to go over and play. Yes, Ennis and Ed are definitely up for a challenge match and other bits and pieces. Yeah. So yeah, and they, and they they live quite near this this city. Um, Ooh. Dublin. I think you, if you've heard of it, I'm sure that could be quite an interesting night out. An expensive one out. Yes. From Dublin. From Dublin. Rain all day. day. <laughs> yes, so we didn't we didn't want to say it but <laughs> Yeah, that is often what happens. But yeah. yes. Well actually when we were me and Claire when it was lovely. Whereabouts you play then, right? If we come over to near Dublin we see if we can hook up a game. Where is Mr Ennis? Mr Ennis is at Bal Carrick, so out past the island club, out that way. There you go. So yes. He's there. Um, I think Ed's left. Ed was at Beaver's Town. Yeah. He's left there. I think he works in re a bit more retail-y type job now. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if he works for someone or not. Um, but yes, boys are definitely up for a challenge match. PJ Life still hasn't been to Leicestershire. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't been to Leicestershire. No, we have to. We could definitely do the trip there. That would be all right. We were thinking of. of yeah, we we're definitely thinking of doing a trip, weren't we? It's one of those things that we could. It was Druid's Heath and Druid, besides Druid's Glen, yeah. Nice. Very nice. I don't know, I've heard of Druid's Glen, obviously, not heard of Druid's Heath, but I'm sure if it's somewhere if near it's the same topography, it'll yeah, be good. Yeah, if it's next door to that, then it's, that should be 
pretty good. What we got? Ah, evening, guys. Hi, Paul. Paul Gain. Ah, Ely. Yeah. How are you doing? We're excited, Paul. We've got a new camera. That's the reason for yeah. the multiple channel liveness, as yes. it were. Um, and which we keep going on about. A headlight. A headlight. It's going to be so bright. It's going to be crazy. It's like one of those old school spotlights that used to be on the front of like rally cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is where we're going. Yeah, welcome to the super stage. <laughs> Couple of friends played Jury's Heath. In July, there you go. I said it was stunning. There you go. Oh, Personal sure. recommendation from Leicestershire yeah. all the way to Ireland. Nice You've got to love YouTube, haven't you? You've got to love it, haven't you? Yes. So, Paul, what have you been up to this week? What's going down in Cambridgeshire? Ely's always looking mint every time you take a picture of it. Yeah. Apart from the other day, I just noticed that you had were freezing cold. I think was it freezing cold one morning giving a lesson. Last I seem to remember. It was cold, wasn't it? I think Sunday was pretty right. cold as well. Wasn't yeah, it? Sunday was horrendously cold. Yeah, I, think it was, I was lucky. I was in Ipswich. I was at Woodridge and um, Sunday. It wasn't actually that cold. Well, I thought it was going bizarrely. Be. I left here and I live probably four minutes from the golf club, and I left here and the front grass got no ice on it okay. and you just wiped the windows here okay, and it all, it all came off I got halfway to work and thought oh it's getting a bit white pulled into work oh it was like the colour of the wall what time was it seven yeah so I left about yeah you know, I left about quarter past eight and had to scrape ice off my car window and I live like oh watch the apprentice George at least watch like I'm so a celebrity, celebrity. <laughs> Or what's the time? Epsis, Nine o'clock. Epps is still on, aren't they? Yeah, Peaky Blinders is on now as well. I still haven't watched that. You need to get amongst that. Yeah, I've made the decision this evening. Good. Like, we're going to watch that on catch up. What's that? Watch a bit of the jungle. There you go. Massive yeah. fan of the apprentice. Well, that's fair enough. If you're into it, that's cool. I just, just didn't. It, there's a lot of people in it that I just think are a bit of a muppet. Well, yeah, but there's a lot of people in I'm a celebrity that I think are, are muppets. But yeah, I still at least they, at least they get covered in slime. At that, that is true. That is true. What's going on? There's some comments going down. Maybe it's that West. That looks like Westy's profile picture. No, it's not. HP Golf. Hi, HP Golf. Yeah, definitely, Paul. We should organise game at Ely. Yeah, definitely. Who are you, HP Golf? If I don't know who you are, I do apologise. HP Golf, you yeah. know what it is? Not sure. So we've got high levels of charging going on. The batteries are going well. What's your view on speed training with weighted clubs? We, the speed sticks. Yeah. You've, you, you've um, got those at yeah, Telford, haven't you? Yeah, I've got those at, at, at school, and, and they're really good. Um, we're going to do, a, I say, a study, a bit of a... Mm. <laughs> An in-depth look at of how it it could help, and in not depth. yeah. From that point of view, it's, it it is good in terms of it will it school. will be it will like boost your speed. It's mm. just wh whether you get to the point where you can't control your technique Delivery. at that point mm. to then yeah to make sure the strikes is managed well. But yeah, in terms of of swinging a weighted object, I would I would stick with the actual Proper. specific tools that have been made for that rather mm. than actually just making the club heavier and swinging that about. Yeah. I'd actually stick to those speed sticks. They're, they're obviously a graphite shaft with a weighted end, so they're mm. a bit more like a driver would be, which is obviously yeah. where you're looking for that maximal speed. And also the thing with it is if, you're, if you swing something that's very, very heavy, the old school theory was that by swinging something heavy, when you put something lighter in your hands, it'd be quicker. But actually what they're saying now is that you have to actually physically move something faster through the air yeah. to get used to that speed. Yeah, so I'm actually something that's really heavy isn't actually going to make you swing anything faster. Don't actually buy into this whole muscle memory no, 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 thing no, 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 either. No, no. So it was all... It, yeah, there are motor patterns and all of that stuff. So but. You, can, you can buy into what you would like. The reason we would use them at school is because... If if any of these guys are going to want to play at a high level, they're going to need to bust it. You're going to yeah. need to absolutely bust it to get on tour nowadays. Yep. There's no ifs, buts, or maybe's about it. You need to get a long way. Mm -hmm. So uh, the old school of, of let's find a fairway, we actually have to then say to that point, there has to be a cutoff where if you're hitting it 220, yes, you can oh. find a fairway, but you're never going to compete. You're going to have further to the green. Yeah. A lot of it. A lot of the and it's one you're going to have to have 
like the best long game in the world, quite literally, mm -hmm. to get to the point where you can some of the yeah, yeah some of the lads are, are going to want to take it. Mm. So busting it off the tee, getting the speed in there, but use the equipment that's yeah, been so made. Saying here, super speed set definitely yeah. road and definitely get yourself some of those. Yeah, mm. you've actually seen it firsthand, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. With the kids, so it's it's one of those that, and and teaching the kids from from a young age to want to swing it quick, I, I would never encourage any no. child to slow down. No. Just stand up there and hit it as hard as possible. I I yeah. try and keep technique out of it for as long as possible. Yeah. Certainly overloading technique, obviously you get grips and bits and pieces yeah. and you know make Stop it going, going miles offline but then actually just stand there and, and let them bust it mm. and get used to seeing it like yeah. and reacting to it because there's nothing better than we all know it is. Yeah. As adults, you hit a good drive down the middle, it puts a smile on your face. So yeah, definitely. If that's going to make make them come back and want to keep doing it, if they want to just keep hitting driver, yeah, for them, keep get hitting on, driver. Get on with it, exactly. Um, I remember the, the old Nick Bolletieri and Andre Agassi, obviously I come from a bit of a tennis background, and Agassi growing up, they knew that he wasn't going to be the biggest guy in the world, they knew he was going to be small, so that Bolletieri said, look, we're just going to teach you to hit ground strokes as hard as you can. Just hit it into the back fence, and then once you've built that speed up, then we'll worry about getting it to dip yeah, in the court. Bubba, Bubba said the exactly. same, didn't he? Just like learn to hit it long way, learn to hit it long way, and we'll straighten it up later. Yeah, and he did. He, you know, if you've got the talent, you'll figure it out, won't you? Yeah, and, if he, and he grew up hitting it around a house, so he's done all right. <laughs> now he's just got a bigger house to hit it around. Yeah, he's yeah, he's done it. <laughs> I like. I've got a lot of time for Bubba. Big fan of everything he's about. Definitely, he's a bit outspoken at times, but that's fine. That is fine. You can afford to be. He can when you've got he, your green jacket on, you can do what you like. You can afford to be. Yeah, definitely. So that's it, I think. Any more Ooh. questions? What we got? How are the Adele's Adele working out? I'm loving mine. Absolutely loving it. I played in a golf day last week mm -hmm. and I had 24 putts. Admittedly, I only played 17 holes. <laughs> but yes. So, yeah, I, I blobbed the second. I hit a drive down the left. And Not when I got, sweat. everybody said, oh, that'll be fine. Never played the golf course before, walked down there, and it was nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. But other than that, absolutely loving it. The speed control side of it for me mm -hmm. has always been such an issue. Yeah. And it's just amazing. How much do you, um, what sort of percentage would you say Adele and Aimpoint have made this year? Uh, put them together and they've like made it a completely different ball game mm -hmm. like I like aim point for the process in terms of I'm not always the greatest green reader in the world and I second guess myself because when I stand over it subconsciously use my feet before but then didn't really know what you were feeling what I was feeling or trusting what I was seeing and feeling because mm -hmm. they were probably conflicting at times but in terms of, of the process it goes through and then the I think it's just the confidence you have in, in something that's been fitted. Yeah. Whether it's... Like, because everybody else picks it up and they're like, yeah, it's all right. And we had Andy at Woven say, I, didn't, I don't really buy in, because mm. obviously we had... Both three, had an... an three only, Adele's in the four. Had an okay da day yeah. on the greens, but, like, you're not going to go out and light it up every time you use it. It doesn't give you it's the, like, the God-given right to hold every putt you look at. But, again, if you stand over it and you make a positive stroke with something that you like... Mm then it, it's half the battle, isn't it? I think it, it, the issue we had at Woven was the speed control. I think we both started it on the lines we wanted to. Yeah, and, the and it's because like, some of the pin placements are quite tricky in terms of there's a lot of turn around the hole. Yeah, and we didn't play which, it for a long time. Which at, which at our level, it's like it's one of those things we don't always plan greens that have got that much slope and that quick. No. No, definitely. Especially around the hole, mm. like this, it's all right feeding it in. But when you go to these bigger courses, they have got an awful lot of slope in and around. Did the toe up nature? Mm. I feel different. Mm. Not to you, but I've noticed mm. quite a big thing with the toe up and yeah. the round grip. He, he keeps. <laughs> I keep holding keeps, it wrong way around. Yeah, he keeps like holding it and then looking at it. Goes down to address the putter and then it's the, the wrong, wrong way, way around. Because the, the, he's just so used to it being one way round and a round grip. I've all sorts of confusing. Go to put it down, and the face is pointing that way. I'm like, going that way. Hang on, turn around. Then it's fine, obviously after yeah. that. But yeah, it is. It mine's is a bit strange. A bit, mine's a bit more of a mallet, so mine 
yeah. feels slightly different. Well, they're both, neither of them are pure no. tart, are they? They're so both a little bit. got a little, little droop to it, yeah. And they're both the same way. Um, one of the... I do like the feel of it, though. One of the members at our place had it fitting. The, we have had two Adele fittings at our club. Obviously, we got fitted the first round. This is the second one. And he was aiming two holes left of target. Yeah. From six feet. Those are five. And, it, and the, the only thing he could fit him into was the brick. And um, he's got it. It's delivered. And actually, that sits that way. Oh, really? Oh, right. It's like toe. I picked Ben's up when he came for a yeah, lesson. Yeah, Ben's is another. Ben's so, is a strange one, isn't it? it goes, so Ben had a fit in, and then he came for a lesson, and I put his putter down, and yeah. as soon as I put it down, I was like, oh, I can't use yeah, that. Like the shaft me. goes backwards. It's just yeah, odd. It's a back set, hustle, and, isn't it? And he said, he, like, obviously you you were there, but yeah. it was like he said he didn't even notice it. No, until I pointed it out, so he didn't notice it, and he was just he like just so oh, fixed yeah, on the was... lines and and the edge of the putter, and how well it looked to him. Didn't actually, know what it looked like. No, and that's that's the beauty of a decent part of fitting mm. is that you'll find something that you go, yes, this is lovely. And actually, it doesn't doesn't matter what anyone else thinks if they pick it up and go. I mean, we, I've picked up probably ten different Adele's now, mm. and they've all felt completely different and look completely different. And it was weird actually because yours and Matt's at Wogan are the same head. Yeah. When you put them down, they just look completely different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whether well, obviously Matt's has got this. The normal steel shaft, shaft in it, it yeah. and yours has got the black. So whether that's doing something for it, I don't, I don't know. know. It could be. It's just they. They are all completely, completely different. And um, I've actually got a lighter weight now for the bottom of my putter. After Woven, I had a chat with uh, Matt Wright, and he's given me a lighter weight to put in there to try. I haven't done it yet because I only putted it very on slower mm. greens. But he said if you go to if you go to faster greens, put a lighter weight in because then you'll move the putter a bit slower. It won't go off quite as quickly, so it'll be interesting to to test and to try out next time. Have you, go have you had a go with one, Ray? Mm. Do you use one? Yeah, if you've had a chance to have a Adele fitting, I'd all, I'd be quite intrigued to try the even rolls as well. They've got some good reviews. Yeah, they um, they're more f- kind of face technology rather than mm. Adele's. You know, the Adele process talk about the pixels and everything on the face, but that was really kind of. No. The last that was that yeah. wasn't anything to do with the custom fit. It was like this was this is the face that you have. We believe this is the best face that we've got, and you can design the putter and weight the putter to you. It wasn't so much about different face inserts, which mm. a lot of other companies no. use, don't they? Yeah. So, but yeah, I could talk about putters all day. I love I love looking at putters. I love the fit press. We actually. I do want some wedges. I need some wedges as well, but there's some SM seven to come out soon. Oh, I might. I got you got some Mizuno ones, didn't you? New Mizuno ones, yeah. Yeah. But I do like the Adele ones. They do look nice, don't they? They do look nice. Mm. They've got um, Taylor made. Have got a toe yeah, relief one. Toe, haven't they? toe up one. Mm. So like the high toe, like the Callaway wedge, haven't they? Yeah, like the Mac Daddy wedge. Which I mean, you really enjoy my Mac Daddy wedge. It's been, so yeah, it's been a revelation. There has been some changes in our bags. Um, mm. there'll probably be one more in mine before we do a video. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Guess comment below if you're watching. Guess what Adam has changed again. <laughs> won't be a three wood. It won't be a three wood. Although that's... that is having a paint job as we speak. Is it? How did you get on with? We had a little find that went for serious money, did it? Sonatech. Oh yeah, it was. It went for more money than I was prepared to pay. Prepared to pay for a a, a little a te- a trial on on eBay. There was a Sonatech drop. Oh, I have a Sonatech three wood up. Yeah. He's staying forever more. Um, and there was a and Sonatec... Another three would was up. There, no, there. no, it was a driver. Yeah. A 17 degree hybrid, which yeah. that probably would have gone back on. Right. And a 19 degree hybrid. Oh, was it? I thought it was a three wood hybrid. Go get a 19. So, so it would have been would have been good to have a go with the driver, at least. Mm. Considering the... Uh, feel harsher off the face than expected. Well, you'll probably find similar with Adele. I think. Yeah, quite Ad- firm off Adele the face. is quite firm off the face. It took some getting used to because of... We both come from an Odyssey yeah. background, yeah. which was like Softest hitting it with plasticine mm. compared to what you'll move to with Adele. But the Adele putter, in terms of of its yeah of its makeup, is just if, if you trust in the the guys that fit you, and trust in the process that you've gone through, and once you've seen it and where you're pointing and where mm. you get to and the role that you get, then I think you do just believing in that process. I think it's the it's the aiming of the putter is the biggest thing for Adele players is just that you you know that you've, you've me, 
because because you have to prove you know they have to prove it to you obviously 22 million combinations you, you're going to have to see something to go well that's the combination of dots and lines that I aim best and it was for me it was it was more the distance control thing so yeah the weighting the weighting in, in the shaft of my putter is mm. like really different to yours yeah definitely so like I've got 90 grams of weight 50 below my hands and, and 40 in the counterbalance in the top which mm. is a lot of weight to have in the shaft of the putter and mm. I can't really feel the head weight at no. all no, no so no. And that that's something that is as might have just been the thing that's that sort it's of switched, missing, it, it? switched it around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, I definitely recommend getting the fitting. I mean, I had a puff in last week. Um, like the black spider. Mhm. Yeah. There's no lineup line, but that might be what you what you aim best. And how did how did they how did you how did you test the alignment of the putter? Did you hit putts on the green? Was there any was there any feedback to where you were pointing? That set up and that impact. And yeah, so the Adele process has a laser coming out with a mirror on the club face and it obviously reflects back at a screen and you can see where your putter's actually aiming. Obviously it's the laser travels double the distance, so the distance you are away from the hole is doubled. You have to take that into account. So when you first look at it and go, Whoa, I mean what am I doing aiming over there? It's obviously travelled there and travelled back, so any discrepancy yeah. is doubled. But um yeah, it is when you then for me, the flip side of that is when you then get it lined straight, you know that it is perfectly straight because anything off that centre is gonna yeah. it's gonna look huge. Um, certainly revolutionised the way I've done part of fittings. Yeah, it is you know definitely. Um, interestingly, had going back to Ping, we had Ping rep today, obviously showing us all the kit. Um, and two of the other boys in the shop went to Ping for a a brand kind of like a brand awareness day. Mm-hmm. So someone got stuck in the shop. That's fine. So the boys went off for that, and um, one of the things they did was the ping putter fitting with the cradle. Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah, yeah. Um, and they really liked it, and Chris, our trainee, um, was actually the one chosen to do the putter fitting, and he came out with a ridiculous plus four handicap or something, and he really struggles with his putting. So he thought it was fantastic, um, and the rep's actually given us a cradle to fit in my phone. So um, we're definitely going to be using using that, and just yeah. and just having a test to see... The information that it gives, if you can make yourself a better putter, having having that feedback afterwards. Mm. So that's all good. Right. Well we twenty past nine. I reckon it is about time we wrapped this up. Anything going on on there? Facebook? No. no, Facebook's kind of gone to sleep. Ken. Fitting yeah, definitely. Yeah, ping are ping are quality products, aren't they? That you can't and you know, obviously they're heritage putters and irons to certain extent, but certainly putters. Um and yeah, I mean distance control is good. No worries, right? Yeah, cheers, right. Um Thanks yeah, for the questions. Check out Bal Carrick and Steve Ennis over there. Very good, very good coach, highly Please. recommended. Um so yeah, Ken, the thing, the thing for me with the with the ping fitting system is you get you get the lie angle, the colour coding, and obviously they build it to that spec. And the length fitting, um, and they 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 do, they do do they make different weighted heads, but they don't they don't really big into their counterbalancing, from what I've no. seen, not from what I've seen in terms of their fitting. And now I've used that, mm. I don't think I'd move away from it. You dabbled with counterbalancing before, didn't you? In grips. In As grips, in and that that had made that had made a difference, mm. but then putting the weight down inside oh. the shaft is just. And where they can, and the amount they can then move it, move it inches up and down, and, and the difference that makes, yeah. The putter flip is harder. <laughs> it's so instinctive for you, isn't it? Miss the putter, the putter gets flipped. Flipped, and then you grab the grip, but I can't do it with that because it takes too long for the counterbalance to whip exactly. it down. Exactly, <laughs> it whip it harder. Yeah. Good. Right. Well, we've got videos coming up this week then. So we have a massive, we did massive session of reviews. Huge. Um, so hopefully that's gonna. Yeah, get it out there. Get it out there. Get it on the pine green. Definitely get, recommend. The, good the counterbalance, hundred percent. Mm. Get and it out there and they? set up two lines and put to to a line rather than to a hole. Mm. So you actually just see how the, the see how the the distance control is help being helped with that counterbalance because mm. most of the time people drop two or three balls on a putting green. Yeah, don't read the putt and then wonder and then go out going oh I've missed every putt on that putting green. 
Yes, yeah, you haven't really read any, to, any of them, but yeah, you, you just really walk to around and just hit a few buttons. Um, so yes, massive reviews. Hopefully, we'll get edited. That was a, out to you soon. That, that was, was a, a long morning. Session. Serious session that was. But some interesting results. Mm, very Especially interesting. Especially for <laughs> Yeah. Ridiculous. It's bizarre, that wasn't it? It was very bizarre. Yes, so stay tuned. And, for and that. if he does game the club that he hit quite well, <laughs> it's going to cost him about four quid. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I still found, I still be haven't more. found if that's actually illegal or not. But at four ten, I'll be surprised. Yeah, four ten CCs drivers weren't that. Four ten rocket ship. It wasn't it just. So, so on that note. Yes. Thank you very much for contributing and watching. If you have Thanks managed to stick through, guys. if you've managed to stick through this YouTube video not live, and you've actually come to this point and you've actually watched us when it plays back, thank you. Thank you. And, and if you please hit this circle. Yeah. If you <laughs> if you just say the words, subscribe me up. I will know that you've stayed till the end. Yeah. And you've watched it without without not being live and I yeah, applaud anyone that does that. Yeah. So we do enjoy doing these live things. It's good. We should do more of them. And this will be coming in to do some live stuff yes. and we'll be hitting shots in front of it, which will be far more entertaining. Yes, definitely. Especially the way we hit some shots. <laughs> yes. Right guys, see you soon. Let's turn see some bits later. off. That's ended. Oh, Adam O'Connor, the putting green is the only one I can read. <laughs> He's a boy. Old winky tongue out emoji. Good on you, Charlie. Hopefully you. Hopefully you are all good, Charlie Garrard. To be back playing yet? No, nope. not yet. No. Just enjoying. It. Having little ones eating and crying and hopefully maybe a little bit of sleep. Right, on that note. See you later. Oh, there's the camera over there. Bye bye. Is that Facebook? Hmm? Was that Facebook? That's Facebook, yeah. You've done YouTube, I reckon, really. Yeah. <laughs> Shut down. Boom. Post? Let's post it. Why not the post now? Excellent. Share, leave that online, definitely. You got it now. Just do We think. It's good. Man. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. Oh, well, then, I think. Out on the old links. So what I'll do is try to order monopod. Mm. Um, I look. We'll set up our um bank account for YouTube. We've got seventy-five quid in there now. Oh, is it? Nice. And that's quite a big jump from from sixty to seventy-five in like Next three weeks or whatever. Yeah. One of them. Maybe it's just tiny. Mm. Do I keep that sunshade on there as well. Do you know? Yeah, that just uh, unscrewed off there. How does it? It's less likely to break if it's not. Not connected. Mm. Oh, I was going to say because I definitely didn't have it as neat as that. Because I did well, have everything I've got in. one of them upstairs that we can put in. Have you? Yeah. I don't know quite where it is, but it's definitely okay. upstairs. Oh, cool. Well, that's awesome. Then, even better. What is this doing? Are you still alive? That's YouTube. <laughs>